Welcome to the Pioneer Agronomy Update. We are in one of the Pioneer Impact Plots in the Fisher, Minnesota area. Brent Sorensen is with us and uh, we talk about an impact plot. We've got a, a lot that we're learning in these type of uh, uh, situations. Tell us what an impact plot's all about. Yeah, so impact plots are, are replicated uh, studies to look at our new products and compare them to some of our existing products and some of the competitors so that we get a really best opportunity to advance the, the best genetics and the best uh, traits for the, the best yield. Certainly IDC is an issue that we've been talking about this year and that, that's something that's being evaluated in this plot? Well certainly you can see the IDC showing up in this one. Uh, we can really pick out some of our newest genetics and how much uh, they're handling the chlorosis and we're really excited about our new A-series and list beans that uh, are bringing some of the best traits of our and genetics of Pioneer uh, to the Enlist uh, platform. So talk to me about uh, IDC. Uh, certainly it's the, the way you, you handle it is, is that variety selection, right? Uh, the best way to do it is by the variety that you pick. Uh, certainly there's uh, treatments that you can put down and put some iron in the soil and things, but if you really uh, uh, want to be consistent and get the best results, it's all about variety. And uh, you'll hear that from lots of experts in the, in the field at, at NDSU and different places. But absolutely, uh, it's all about variety. And it's, uh, if you hear it in a, in a presentation, it's variety, variety, variety. You've got those IDC scores. It's it's a good thing for for folks to to be able to evaluate when they're looking for that twenty three crop. The uh, the ratings are right in our in our uh, product guide. And talk to your uh, sales rep because they are out in these fields looking at them all the time, and they're the best person to help you with the ground that you're working on. You've got a couple of examples right here. Uh, what are some of the differences we see? Yeah, so th here's a new uh, a new product that we have that uh, you can see right in the back. Uh, bias here and uh, right in front of it is is a uh, is a product that obviously doesn't perform as well and is having more trouble in this high chlorotic area but you can see the difference that you, the variety will give you uh, these are taken about two feet apart so it's it's uh it's quite impressive uh when the the product can uh can withstand that and then of course uh, has to yield and that's what we're looking for here is a combination of those traits and how they uh the, bring our genetics out so that we can get the best yield for uh, for our customers. And you talk about the A-series soybeans. Uh, this is really product that's being developed for this footprint. It is. Uh, the A-series beans, uh, we have a few of them out this year and we'll have we'll continue to have more and more. But our, uh, our best and newest genetics and traits, um, and we're going to highlight those next week. We've got uh, five meetings around the uh, region that uh, would love to have... Uh, uh, people come and, and see all the work that we're doing to bring them the latest uh, products for their farm. It's the Enlist Executive Plot Tour starting Monday in that uh, Jamestown area and we wrap up uh, Friday next week uh, in the Monoman area if, I, if I'm remembering correctly. That's exactly right and, and they're spread out all, all among and each day there's one uh, plot uh, trying to get close to each person's uh, area where they see the kinds of um, environment that they're used to uh, for their farm. So uh, we certainly know there's a, a lot of choices out there. This really gives a, a chance for growers if they're, they're still making decisions on some of these trade things uh, going into the future. You can really evaluate uh, in this, uh, uh, these executive plots. It really gives you a great chance to see what we're working on and uh, get comfortable with the uh, not only the genetics but the spray technology. And uh, as people decide between one or the other, which one gives you the most flexibility, the uh, the most diverse opportunities to control your weeds throughout the season, not just in a narrow window at the beginning. And uh, and so we have tank mix options that are, are much stronger and things like that. And so come to the enlist plots and you can learn all about that. So where can folks find out more? Um, you should talk to your local sales rep um, and uh, it's going to be posted uh, with this link to this uh uh, this broadcast. Yeah, look in the comment section and we'll have a, a, a picture to show you where all the different plots are in, across this region. Again, it really covers throughout our area in, in eastern North Dakota and northwest Minnesota. So that's all next week, starting Monday in Jamestown and uh, continuing the balance of the week throughout the region. Brent, appreciate the update. Thank you for uh, for the time and, and uh, uh, just encourage everyone to come out to our enlist plots. Good deal. Brent Sorensen with us from Pioneer. It is our Pioneer Agronomy Update.